Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Fisher Online. And today I am at Germany uh, trying to catch some big carps, mirror carp, whatever type of carps. If you look at the top right, I have daily mission and all the others we have carp mirror as our goals. And uh, one goal is for Wells catfish. We can get that at nighttime over by the lilies here. And today's goal is to save up enough money, 4,500 silver, to get a bigger uh, fishing net bag. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, I want to do this series on the Fisher Online like I did with my Russian Fishing 4 uh, series, where I basically started off at Mosquito and then went to Winding Rivulet. And as the videos proceeded, I got better and better at fishing. I started catching bigger fish. I started unlocking newer maps and going to them and making videos on them. Uh, so that's something what I want to do with this game as well. Uh, so my first episode on the Fisher Online was at the starting pond. Second episode was about starlets in Russia. Let's just pretend that's a special episode because uh, this map, Germany, is supposed to be the second map that you unlock. Uh, so basically I'm going in that order now. In next episode, I don't know if I'm going to make it in Russia or maybe I will do it in Ukraine or whatever the next map is that I've unlocked. And I hope this uh, series I'm able to do uh, is enjoyable by you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe and comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this. That is a mirror carp. Nice. Okay, throw this back. Uh, we're going to be at the 23 kg mark at no time. Damn, both of my brother just getting it. Which is great. Uh, let's see how much money I earn too. Actually, we're not going to earn uh, any money because uh, we have three mirror carps that we need to give to our missions. So until we catch three mirror carps, only then will we start netting fish. And I'm fine with that. Uh, I have a 80 silver and a 208 XP mission for this. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, also, uh, before recording this, I was in Russia and I caught my first ever trophy, which was a Merocarp. <laughs> what the heck am I saying? Not Merocarp. Uh, it was a silver bream trophy. My very first in the game. But unfortunately, it was really sad. I gave it away to the mission accidentally. I didn't mean to. And so I don't know how much a silver bream trophy actually uh, nets you, how much money it nets you. Let's see if we can see the fish surface. Because I know with sterlets, uh, they would usually f surface when reeling them in. So I don't think these carps like being coming to the surface, so it's okay. Ooh, what is that? That looks like a big head, doesn't it? Oh, that's a grass carp. Oh, yes, the, the squashed cylindrical, cylindrical fish. Okay, but right off the bat, very active here. And uh, that's what I love. Starting pond, extremely active as well because you're new there. And Germany, I have all of my rods are 18 kg reels and set up accordingly. So if you are new, if you have, you know, those 5 or 6 kg setups, you are going to struggle. I also have a boat right by here in case a fish starts spooling me, uh, which have they've done plenty of times. I can just get on the boat here and abuse that system, which I think shouldn't be allowed. So that makes the game way too easy. Uh, you can never get spooled if you have your boat close by because you uh, sit on the boat, right? And then you just press the hotkey for your rod. So if this is number two rod, uh, then with the boat, I'll come close to this rod. I'll press number two and I'll pick the rod up. That is another grass. Uh, sorry, uh, another normal carp. What is going on? Where are my mirrors? And as you can see, my net is almost full here. 11.28 kg of 20 kg. That's the issue. So I'm saving $4,500 for the 90 kg bag. And that should help us greatly. 
<laughs> it is just insane here. Maybe I should have one rod uh, to collect something small. I wonder if there are mollusks here. I need mollusks, mollusks for my sterlet. And the other thing I wanted to say was, uh, so far fighting fish is fun. I love yanking the rod up. And then when you drop the rod, you reel it in. That's how you do it in real life as well. And it's just so much fun, which you cannot do in Russian Fishing 4. Uh, but I have to say in Russian Fishing 4, it's a lot more intense because you have everything to lose, right? Uh, the unhook rate is insane. It's like 90% or something. Wow, there we go. That is a grass carp. And I guess that's a rare size. I'm not sure. Grass carps get really big, so I don't know why that's pink. And our net is almost full, so what I'm going to have to do is travel quickly. And sell 65 silver. So, not even close to the amount of money I was making while catching sterlets. Uh, but, with sterlets, uh, you need mollusks, which you cannot buy. So, it's a little bit harder to do. And once you have enough mollusks, uh, sterlets buy here and there sometimes. Sometimes they're very active, but sometimes... The entire day you will only get like a few so it's very slow in comparison to big carps uh so i wonder how the money compares uh definitely sure let's pay far more because they are rare fish so uh so as i was talking about fighting a fish uh, it's very fun in this game uh but i think Russian Fishing 4, it's just way intense uh, because all of your equipment has wear and tear. The amount, the rate that you might unhook the fish is insane. So it's like you have everything to lose out of that uh, compared to this game. If it unhooks, well, it's okay. Uh, you're not going to lose anything. Uh, whenever it surfaces, that's when I don't have it zoomed in. Uh, but this looks like a grass carp perhaps or a regular carp. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can, I can even go back uh, to the starting pond and I'll have so much fun because I'll get constant fish. Obviously now money matters more, so you're not going to enjoy it as much, but 5.3 kg grass carp. Look at that. Oh wow, we are already completed a request. That is just insane. Well, instant bites everywhere. The fish on this? Yes. Okay, not that big of a fish here. Reel it in and then let it go. Oh, come on, let's go. Uh, I thought I had bite on my other rod too. Uh, but yeah, two more mirror carps. I'm surprised we're not catching any mirrors so far. Uh, but I'm not worried at all. It's not going to take any time at all. Oh damn, that might be a big fish. Uh, that jingling is really loud, isn't it? I might need to tone down the in-game volume. Oh nice, finally a mirror. It's a small one. 3kg. I might need to take the boat for this one. Nope, it's uh... Yeah, it is big. I might need to take the boat for this. Let's see how much it spikes at. I can increase my friction to 15 and hopefully that should help. Don't overdo the friction obviously. Uh, my last rod apparently has a fish on but it's not really doing anything unless it unhooked itself which is fine because we're gonna get fish for days here yeah this might take some time damn we are not gaining any ground here 
my biggest fish, uh, the mirror carp, is I believe 12 kg. That might be my biggest fish so far. I might beat that record today, I'm not sure. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, we are not gaining any ground here. I sort of want to take the boat out. Let me crank it up just one more. I think this is going to be maxed out. I can go one more on the friction brake, but uh, it's okay. No reason to. Okay, I almost have this fish here. You can see the water agitation. I love it. Uh, the sterlets, I absolutely love the sterlets. They smash around in the water. You can see them at, on the surface. Oh wow, look at this guy. Damn, 12.2 kg. And like that, we have finished our order. That was a big carp too, so I should have maybe bagged that, but it's okay. We're going to get so many carps uh, that it's no worries for us. That is a baby carp. Uh, I wonder if I should make this large. Okay. Is there a fish on this? I need to know. No, uh, there's nothing on it. Uh, so we have just two fish here. Uh, you know what? This Since this is not a marker, we can go on the cutting table. And I can uh, make... Fish offals, yes. Okay. There we go. I need fish offals. I need mollusks the most. And I'm just not having any luck catching them. Oh, there we go. Our telephone rod has something on it. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put this down. We're going to get on the boat. And this is rod number three, rod number one, rod number two. We're going to slow it down. going to raise the rod here. Bring it in, raise the rod. Bring it in. And uh, the boat speed is slow because it's happened twice now where I cranked the boat speed up and the tension on the line finished. So they're slack and that's how the fish got away. Uh, so I'm slowly learning. You can see there's slack at the end of the line there. Which is not good. I'll just keep my rod up as we... Come on. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes you will just automatically net the fish. Uh, which is just so weird. Yes. There we go. Look at that, 12.6 kg, damn. Now uh, where are my rods? They're right here. Wow, that was the second mirror actually that we've caught. That's 12 kg. So let's go ahead back and sell our fish here. And let me quickly show you. Isn't this cool when you run and when you walk your phone, it's just messed up. Uh, stats. Let's look at our stats profile. Biggest fish is 14 kg mirror. Okay. Not 12, 14. Maybe we will beat our record here. Let's go ahead and sell this fish. 45 silver, 12 silver, 50, 60 silver we made. And we are at 4,100 silver already. Nice. Looks like another decent fish here. Ooh, look at that. Another nice mirror, 5.4 kg. Now the other thing I wanted to say was, uh, now that I have three 18 kg rod setups, uh, besides checking out new lakes, I want to buy one good spinner setup. Uh, so that one episode I can dedicate to trolling and spin fishing at, you know, Germany on this map for trouts. Go to Russia, go catch some big pikes and stuff like that. I just don't want to uh, have, you know, bottom set up as my top tier and just never do spin fishing. So I definitely want to try that out as well. Now it is getting 
It is becoming uh, night time, evening time, so catfish are gonna start biting. Maybe we can get an eel or two here as well, I really hope. Now, I wanted to, to also show you what setup I'm using in case you're interested. Uh, 5.5 kg grass carp. I'm not even uh, tossing it all the way, I'm just tossing it a little bit, so it just takes less time to reel in the fish here. Uh, so two of my setups right now are the 18 kg with the 18 kg reel, 15 kg line, and then 14.5 kg liter. I'm using the SF Smart Fisher, I believe, Lucky Fishing. This is in the last tab uh, at the shop where it says attractants. And this is relatively cheap, so I bought a boatload of them. They look like egg trays, maybe ground bait in egg trays, I don't know. And then Boilies is a strawberry that I'm using. I'm using a big hook, I'm using a medium sized hook. I haven't seen a difference in fish sizes. And that's what I'm using. In case you're wondering what bait or lures to use, you can just go to records. Uh, this is for obviously Germany where I am right now. And you can see for Wells Catfish that you were using bait fish. That's what I'm gonna use. For eels we need fish pieces, so after I get three well, it's catfish, I can go ahead and do that. Oh man, this is a, this is a big fish. We are struggling just to raise the rod here. Alright guys, I made a mistake while showing you what I was using. Don't use Lucky Fishing for carps because they already have an attractant called Carp Honey at Germany, so use that. Uh, the general attracting, I was using that for stullets because there isn't a specific attractant for them. That's why I just became so used to it that I completely forgot. Uh, so I apologize for that. Once I catch a fish on this, I'll change it as well. Uh, for the Welsh catfish, I have put a general attractant because they don't have a specific one. Just wanted to clear that out. All right, what might you be? It has certainly slowed down because they bite less at night. I haven't caught a Wells catfish either. I have casted my rod into the deep end as well. It's a large carp, 7.3 kg. Uh, I really don't want to re relocate towards the dam area all the way at that side of the map. To get a catfish, I was hoping I'd just get it here and be done with it. But, I mean, it's 9 silver, I really don't care. If it was about money, then sure, I would have moved. But it's fine for now. Let's go ahead and sell our fish while we're at it. Okay, not too far. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and visit town. Let's see how much money we made here. Let's see here, uh, 35 silver for this large carp, 7.3 kg. Merocarp is 15 kg, 5 kg, sorry, for 15 silver, and then carp regular, 8 silver. I mean, it, this is worth good money, but after catching these really quality fish, like the sterlets and stuff, uh, <laughs> slowly you're like, wow, 5 silver, 10 silver, 50 silver, that's nothing, that's not worth it for me. Uh, so as you gain levels and go to different maps, higher level maps, uh, the fish are worth more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's how it goes here. Uh, this looks like a carp to me. This is the one with fish pieces for cat fish. Oh, wow, that's a trout. <gasps> no, how did we get a trout on fish pieces? Nice, that's like my first trout, I think. That is so cool. <laughs> I was uh, hoping for a Wells catfish. It didn't look run like a Wells catfish because uh, catfish are slow. And uh, rather than it being a carp, it turned out to be a lake trout, which uh, even if it's worth less, I really don't care. My first one, so it uh, means a lot. Uh, carp, uh, so we can go ahead and slice that up. And what I really like about this is uh, you can go to cutting table here, right? And it says fish offals times two. Any fish one to five kg. Now this is 1.2 kg. And we just got two pieces. Okay. 
I think I did a three or four kg and I got more. I got like four fish pieces. So I really like that. It scales up to the size of the fish. Uh, you know, you just don't get two pieces every time, even if it's a five kg fish. So that I, I really like that. That's rare. Uh, sorry, that's not rare. Uh, that's fair. Yes, <laughs> that's the word. All right, so let's see uh, how much that trout is that I caught. Holy moly, 25 silver for 1.8 kg. That is a very nice and expensive fish compared to, look at these worthless carps, 4 kg, 13 silver. Nice, so we are, we're heading there. Right now I have more quests. I have a 242 silver quest for uh, mirror carps. I have two of eight pieces already. I think once daytime comes, it's going to be a lot more active. So let's see how that goes. All right, this feels like a big boy. I apologize for the <laughs> phone bell. Uh, but this guy definitely feels big. Wow, look at that. Look at the size of that thing. 12.4 kg. I am not giving this to my quest. That is super sweet. I can't wait to go back and check the size of it. Let's quickly reel this in and see how much the 12 kg is worth. Please be a mirror. I'm gonna keep getting these stupid regular carps. I'm not even throwing it far. I'm just throwing it like all the way over there. Okay, let's check the size here. 44 silver for this 12 kg. Damn. Uh, I really thought it would be more, uh, but there you go. I think, uh, being able to catch sterlets, uh, so early in the game has ruined me. Like I just expect every fish to be C4 offals. I, I expect every fish to be, you know, like 50 silver minimum for a small one. And if it's a large, it needs to be a hundred silver because that's how sterlets work. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll keep on fishing. All right, my mission is finally done. So we can finally go ahead and buy our bag here. Let me just reel these fish in. Uh, that grass carp is really cool. I could see how the carp over here was going back and forth and it was surfacing and splashing around. It was pretty darn cool. I really like uh, he, uh, how the developer has worked on the fish like that and it really, really, it's very well done, I have to say. Um, the effect itself obviously needs a little bit of work, uh, but just having that in the game is so amazing. And that is a mirror, not too big. I will take it. Let's reel this guy in quickly. Go into town, sell the fish, and then finally buy our fish net. I really hope uh, Germany has the big one, and it's not just exclusive to Russia. That's here, 15 a silver for the 6kg, 12 silver, nothing much, but it's okay. Uh, where is it? A misc, miscellaneous, accessories. There we go. Uh, 150 kg. Holy cow. 100 pieces. Oh. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> I am uh, so happy. Uh, where is it? Uh, miscellaneous equipment. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Oh, yes. Uh, can I sell this now? Uh, let's see here. Accessories. No, huh? No, I can't. I don't think so. Uh, but that is a pretty darn cool. We have a hundred fish we can keep in this net worth a total of 150 kg. And that, my friends, is amazing. Uh, hopefully next episode we can fill this net up. And I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below what else you would like to see me do in the Fisher Online. How are you liking the Fisher Online? Any hotspots that you know of that I should try out besides the sterlet? 
And I'm just gonna leave uh, this one last clip of me catching the silver bream and then uh, giving it away blindly. <laughs> Until the next time guys, enjoy. Whoa. Look at that, my first trophy silver bream, my first trophy in the Fisher Online. Look at that, that is amazing, I had no idea. Oh no, oh, damn it, no. I gave it to the quest. That was a big mistake.